Health and Human Services Director Richard Schweiker said President Reagan's economic plan is just a starting point for bringing the high cost of health care under control. Because as the budget cuts and tax measures attack inflation overall, it'll also help to bring down the high cost of medical care. Every time the cost of living goes up 1%, my department, just my department, must spend a half a billion dollars more for Medicare for each 1% each rise in the cost of living. I must spend $50 million more in social supplemental security income for the age, blind, and disabled. And I must spend one and a half billion dollars. Schweiker says Health and Human Services is reforming the process for approval of new medical drugs in hopes of ending drug lag, which inhibits development of new drugs. And HHS is revising health financing rules. As for Medicaid, changes will improve the reimbursement system, he says, since the current third party payment arrangements rewards inefficiency. One option might be to provide people with incentives to choose private alternatives to Medicare if they wish. In an effort to dim any hopes for quick economic solutions, Swanker said, obviously, electing Ronald Reagan president doesn't mean an overnight cure to problems that have been lasting some 20 years. It just made a cure possible. Now, even winning the tax and budget battles of the past summer didn't complete the cure. Now, in catering to his audience of mainly doctors, Swanker said, as any good physician knows, a good cure takes time. In Norfolk, Don Roberts, The Daily News.